Peeps, and welcome to an awesome video. We are here at Game Point. This is Retro Rick's store. Um, we've never been here. We are very excited. Um, we've actually never met him in person. We've talked a lot, but the store looks awesome from all the videos we've seen, so we're really excited to check it out. So let's go inside and say hello. I love all those signs. Looks so awesome. His little mascot. Excuse me, sir. Hi, hey. gang. You're the famous YouTuber. I saw you on a TikTok. Oh, yeah? Will you sign this banana sleeve? Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here with Rick. Yo, what's Retro up? Rick. What's up? What's Sorry. up? Forgot your first name. Yeah. Retro, no, Retro Rick. Retro is my first name. Yeah. Rick's my last name. <laughs> yeah. So we are here in Arkansas. Dude, you made it. Yeah. You came all the way here to see me? Oh yeah. man, thank you. <clears throat> so we drove from Fort Myers, Florida to uh, where, Conway, Arkansas? Conway, yeah, we're just outside of Little Rock. And that was a very long drive. We, oh, got, <laughs> we got to our hotel at 7.30 in the morning and we slept for a few hours. Now we're here. Yeah, we're here. Hanging out. Heck yeah. So to start, do you want to Kind of take us around. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's see the store. Okay. You know, let's let's start at the at the beginning. How about that? That makes yes. sense. That makes sense. I'm holding this because you saw it. And you're like, you want to sell that? I'm like, yeah. To, sure. To be transparent, we've actually been here for a couple hours. <laughs> We're did. just now starting to film. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, from the store. Definitely, I wanted the beginning of the store, like as soon as you walk in, I love video games, but I also love toys, nostalgia, to be like, holy crap, look at all the stuff that is in here, just from the very beginning. Like right here, you got the big old Simpsons couch. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's literally <laughs> 10 feet, 10 feet wide. So, that's pretty cool, and then you got Jeffrey behind you right there. Um, have you seen any of these before? Any of these statues before? The Jeffrey ones? Well, any any of these. Have you seen any of them? I've seen the Ronald McDonald one before. Yeah. And then, you know, the video game ones. Um, yeah. How about the Hulk? No. He I is... mean, not till I watched your videos. Yeah, he is, <laughs> he is massive. So I always say it in like a lot of the videos, like um, the people before did a great job of making this like an experience, not just to, oh yeah, I need to come here and get a new PS4 controller. It's like, oh wow, you can stay, take a couple hours to find out why. Yeah, around. for sure. Yeah. And, and you've been, all right, so I'm gonna ask you a question. You've been to a lot of game stores. What do you see that's maybe a little bit different than your typical game store that you visited? So one thing, and I was telling him earlier, because um, we have been to a lot of game stores all throughout the country, and just the look and the feel of this store is definitely top tier and i think you've i think it was good before when you first took it over but um you've only you know made it better and improved it but like the statues the the lights the yeah, yeah. the music that's playing the kiosks and the machines you have set up the awesome wall behind the register okay. over there like all all of the details because the store is already awesome it's it's big it has really tall ceilings. You know, you have the loft, which is all super cool, but it's all the little details yeah. that I think make it stand out more than other stores. And you know, we try to do the same thing, but our store is a lot smaller, so it's hard. That's for definitely some a, stuff. the main advantage that we have here. Yeah, we were just kind of like talking through, like you know, just all the things we have to deal with and like rent and all that kind of stuff. It's just much cheaper here, so I get, I get that. We we are blessed to have, you know. 
the yeah. space that we have. But yeah, that's good. That's that's super helpful for me to hear too. But yeah, that's cool. I just think all the all the personality that you've added to it, which is all your own your own thing, you know, like a lot of people have a couple statues or something, right? But not everyone has the Ronald McDonald bench and the Simpsons bench <laughs> and the Jeffrey. Jeffrey, and then you know you have all the video game ones. You have the turtle over there, yeah. like. That's cool. It's super awesome. Yeah, and man. Well, that's all, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. And as a collector, I love seeing that kind of stuff. Some people will probably walk in and be like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. They don't really care. But for the people that do care, it is extra special. Yeah. Because there's, cool. there's a lot of stores that have great inventory and they have good prices and they have a good selection. But that's <clears throat> kind of where it ends. Yeah. And what you're doing and what we try to do as well is to, you know, we try to do a little bit more. Yeah. We want to have cool stuff for people to look at. We want to have the displays, the signs, you know, some arcade machines on free play. And, you yeah, know. Yeah, the, you want it to be an experience. You know, yeah. It just, I don't want it to just be like, yeah, I'm picking up something. I want people to be like excited to come in. Yeah. That's and cool. and I think you said it earlier, like, that this is a destination, and it definitely is. And I feel the same way about Pink Gorilla in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a destination. And it's not just because... Kelsey and Cody are YouTube and Twitch famous. It's just the stores are that awesome. And I feel like that's the same here. Even if you didn't do YouTube, this store would still be a destination. And that's what I want to do for ours as well. Yeah, I think I think y'all's is that as well. Um, That's cool, man. So I've kind of gotten you guys around again. Yeah. Something that I think that is a little, that is cool, that's not as typical for a lot of stores is most of our stuff is front facing. Again, because we have the space, we're able to do that a yeah. more than most, more, more than most places. So, the only thing you're really gonna see spine is like a lot of like some, maybe some sports games because those don't really need to be um, you know front facing. But we have the real estate, so it for me, I think it helps um, kind of move away from like decision fatigue when you see a wall up to the ceiling of just games. It's like Okay, let me get prepped to kind of go in. This is this makes to me makes the shopping experience a little bit easier. Yeah. To just be able to be like, okay, cool. What am I looking at? Got a price of three, four, two. So almost like when you would get like movies and stuff. Remember right? Yeah. Movies? It kind of like that was kind of the idea behind this. Is this something that you see very often, or only with like certain sections? Yeah. Um, no, not everything is like that. When you look yeah. over here at PS2. I mean, there's it's, so it's much to, to you can't do have with everything front facing. But usually, when I do see front facing stuff, it's like PS5 or Switch or something like that. Um, it's not; they don't usually have an entire wall of front facing games, which is really cool. Like you said, just you know, because I do the same thing. Like when I look at a, a giant wall of like PS1 games, they all have the black spines, they have oh, the text. I'm yeah, just like, like, I don't know if I can do. I this. don't even want to look through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like when you're at Goodwill and you see all the CDs all spun. You're like, I gotta look through this for PS1 games. You're like, I can't. I don't have it in me today. So yeah. and not every section. It was PS4, PS5, Xbox, uh, and then like a little bit more of like the more like premium Xbox 360 titles. Yeah, you'll have like some of those that are um, all front facing down this wall, and then you have kind of like just the random stuff. PS1, PS2, something like that. So. Yeah. So this wall here is something fairly new, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> I'm all about like the vintage clothes. Uh, Riff from Pixel Game Squad definitely like got me a bit more into it. This is original Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Have you ever done any vintage clothes stuff? Not really. Okay, it's it's like when you collect games for so long and then you start like it's like I've seen that, I've seen that, and now like have you seen like the vintage? Donkey Kong Country, the Super Nintendo shirt. This is from the Super Nintendo era, and it's just like has reinvigorated my like passion to collect video game type items. So um, moving all the way into like that's a vintage '93 or '90. I can't remember. <laughs> it's an old. It's an old Indiana Jones shirt. I definitely get that feeling though, because especially after owning the store, yeah, I've seen the majority of seen video it. games. Yeah, it's like, but I still love collecting, and yeah. I love. I love everything video game related, so that's why I'm really into collecting the signs and the statues and the, oh, the yeah. promotional things and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Freaking Space Jam's crazy shirts. <laughs> so, um, and it's helped my hunt too. Like when I'm out at a flea market or a thrift store, it's like 
you don't just zone into one area. I can make a full loop now. Like I know DVDs, I know electronics, I know games, I know shirts. Yeah. So it helped that whole aspect of it too. So yeah, shirt wall up with a little Mario Bros arcade. I think it's broken because once you get to a certain point, no enemies spawn. Oh, <laughs> so weird. you're just like, oh, I guess I beat it. I don't know. <laughs> so there's that. The one thing that is, is legendary around here is um, the Slammer Badonka Donk. It's yep. very large and in charge. <laughs> Abby, come here. <laughs> I gotta steal Abby. Is that the sticker from the we have our Slimer on one of our glass cases. Do you and, have this one? Yeah. And the his... Uh, it's just scary. His yeah, butt... So, so much going on. His butt is facing right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> right out the front window. It's <laughs> <That's> so good. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but yeah, the shirt wall. We have the Amiibo case. Uh, mostly Amiibos. We have a bunch of Amiibos out there too. We started to put... Do you all have a like cheaper ones out? Kind of grab... No, we just have them in you the You all will do that case? Yeah. Yeah, we have all the loose ones in a cabinet like this, but there's a wall right behind it, so we have all the the like okay. sealed ones hanging up right behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but cool. that's another thing that once we have more room, I would like to put them out because we have that we have that amiibo stand from GameStop that you can walk oh, around. It's like that'd be awesome to have. Yeah, that's cool. Um, over through here is GameCube. We try to do front face most of the GameCube stuff just because. It's it's popular, man. People love their GameCube, that's for sure. And if you have them face and spine out, it's going to be a small section like most game right. stores. Right. Right. Uh, and then NES, SNES. These are going to be all the games that are, you know, probably 15 and under. Mm -hmm. Are uh, here. Other ones are over there. So. Um, you got all the the snacks and the drinks and all the dude, all the cool stuff. People that we sell so many root beers yeah. a day. It's like we have customers that come in just to get a root beer. They're like, yeah, I just wanted to come in and get my root beer. Like, Sweet. That's cool. That's cool. Heck yeah. And I see you have um, like the Pop Rocks and the Fun Dip and stuff. So yeah. we also, we carry a lot of like Japanese import snacks and drinks, yeah. but we try to do like the retro like feeling candies as well. So we sell a ton of Zots and oh, okay. we've we've done like the Abba Zabba. The we do Pocky, yeah. These I never knew about Pocky and people by the mess up. Heck it yeah. Is, it is crazy. All right, I'm taking over for a second. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal the camera. I want to know from you. I've worked hard on trying to beef up the switch area. Do you feel like we've got a decent amount of switch stuff? I feel like you guys have so much switch stuff. We do. This is a bigger selection than most of the stores that that we've been to. Okay. Um, we we we've been trying. Here's my here's the biggest the biggest thing I hate is how do y'all do loose? So I don't know what it is about our location, but for some reason we get very few loose switch games traded in. Okay. We maybe have ten total. Wow. Out of like. The so what would you do in this? What would you do in this case? So <laughs> case. For our switch section, they're all they're all most of them are in the glass case or they're behind the counter. So we just have the loose ones just laying out on a shelf in the glass case. It takes up about this much room. Oh wow, okay, cool. Um, yeah, I just always wonder, cause we're, we're going back and forth with like getting custom artwork made. Mm -hmm. So these used to all be like in the glass case and we would have so many to where we're like, this is, I think this is gonna be easier, but I don't feel like people really dig through these. So I don't know. And then we printed too, and then that takes so much time. So for us, we're just, we're rolling with that for now, so. We are planning on kind of doing this, but with our own custom printed artwork. I actually just bought a printer. Um, so I'm gonna have a template made up for each console. Okay. And it's, you know, you'll just drag and drop the actual cover and then the spine in the back, you know, type in the name on the spine, but the back is just gonna be like double jump branded okay. advertisement yeah, yeah. stuff. So Sweet. Um, it'll be pretty easy to tell if it's the official artwork or not, but um, it's just gonna help because I don't like the way that loose games look. Yeah, um, I agree. Especially disc only stuff. It's just so ugly on the shelf, yeah. which is why we don't sell a lot of that. And most of it just goes on eBay instead. But um, you know, if we make some, some awesome looking cases and everything, I think that people will start picking up those loose games. Yeah, I agree. All right, moving over to the other side of the store. Did you see the original video 
of what all was over here previously. I've seen all of them. I've he's seen every. I've seen every of the videos. He's, he's a true fan. So this was all um, <laughs> tabletop, tabletop games, and cool. Okay, nothing against tabletop. We have two or three tabletop stores in this town already. So not my thing. Don't really know about it. Not educated, but I love me some vintage toys. Got the Captain Planet, Tick Mask, Pee Wee, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, all that kind of stuff. So this is what we got over here is. Um, a bunch of toys. So all the way down through here, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, Power Rangers, Simpsons, just 80s and 90s kids uh, heaven, man. That's kind of what, what we're going with. And Heck yeah. a lot of it, I would say, isn't like flying off the shelf, but it is, again, trying to provide that experience for people to, you know, have some nostalgia bombs go off in their head when they're hanging out in the store. And then this is a little bit different than you see at a lot of places, like a whole museum section. The idea here also is to change these out. So it's kind of, you know, kind of talking through, like I could easily make a Zelda shrine right here. Yeah. And I could change this one to, uh, you know, whatever. 19, 1993 toys, and this have a bunch of different things in there. <laughs> so, yeah, have you seen anything like this before? Places? No. Um, the closest thing I would compare it to um, is like when stores have, like, in their glass cases, they'll dedicate one shelf to Mario, one shelf to Metroid, one shelf oh, yeah, to Mega yeah. Man, kind of stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, this kind of gives that same vibe, but well, you, you have like a, it's a little different. Don't you even have stuff in the store set up with like, this is our Pokemon? shelf or pokemon like items. yeah we have one cabinet that's just all pokemon that's smart i love that yeah that's really cool yeah um, and there are pokemon things elsewhere throughout the store but that's where all the handheld pokemon games are that's where all the pokemon cards are stuff like that okay um yeah and then moving over to the far left wall man so we try to go in order we try to go in order we try to go our zone to nes to <laughs> super nintendo and on, I think, personally, I think you need to get this game, man. Nast, Nastafaro 2. What? <laughs> oh, what did I say? Speaking in strange tongues. Now, that's a really hard one to get. Box isn't perfect. I've actually adjusted price accordingly. That is one that I don't have. I know. You, it could be a filler. It could it be a filler a until you... All right. A $600 filler. <laughs> Placeholder. Placeholder. I'm, I'm looking more at this one. Okay, my bad. Um, yeah, got that one. You got Super Widget? I got that on my road trip with Cody. So I got it recently. Oh, wow. I was like, that, that's not one you see all too often. I'm down to like 100 and 158 games left. CIB? Yep. You're wild. For the full set. I did see, um, I think oh. that was the only one out of here that I needed. Okay. But I think I did see in your back room maybe an empty box or two. Okay, cool. Look at this. And the, uh, <laughs> banana sleeve. Yes. I have the green one, I have the black one, I don't have the coolest one. The coolest one? Does it look cool when I do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving that's on. That's a weird looking, that's a weird looking game shark. I, I thought the same I've thing. never seen that sticker, they usually look like that. I don't, I, I thought the same thing. I don't know, I don't know. N64, I'm sure at your store, to, also does really well. Oh yeah. And see four flies, man. We can't keep, usually can't keep the Banjo-Kazooie's, all those types of games in stock. They just are, are always gone. Yeah, definitely. We we don't have a lot of Sega stuff, so we were able to consolidate Sega into one. So we got mm. Game Genie, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, uh, other than the ones on the back wall over there. But um, yeah, man. He said Game Genie. Yeah, man. Now, You've been saying every time you turn the camera off how bad this store sucks in like real life. Do you still think that? Why are you so mean to my store? <laughs> no, the store's awesome. Okay, thank you. He didn't really say that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love all the, the signs and the banners and the... Especially like that one. <laughs> that was... The cool thing about that... <laughs> that was on the front of a Taco Bell. <laughs> like literally in the 90s. Most stores don't even have room to display something that's that long. I know. It's, it's well. Have you seen the carts? Yeah, the the giant games that are hanging up. I noticed a couple on the other side as well. I need to lower them. I think they need to be lowered. They're a little yeah. bit lost up there. Um, I like the red light up there too with that with that statue and everything. Yeah. 
That makes it look really cool. He's getting you, man. Watch out. One of my ideas for once we have like a bigger spot is to put in a bunch of like professional lighting equipment. Mm. Like the spotlights and the, the color changing oh, ones and the lasers and just turn them all on when we're closed. <laughs> so if people are driving by at night, it'll draw their eyes over and they'll be like, oh, what's that place? And then oh, really? it'll also yeah. hopefully prevent people wanting to break in because it's going to be drawing a lot of attention. Yeah. Hey, did you see, did you see what we have at the front? Here, this way. So I think this all the time whenever I see, because we're in, we're in the, we're in the country, man. We're in the South, Southern hospitality. I mean, break-ins and stuff that it happens, but not as much around our area. Mm -hmm. These, have you seen this? It pulls across the whole way. Yeah. And you lock it and you can't get broke into. Why do people not, I don't understand why people don't have this. <laughs> well, you need it to be taller. Really? Dude, it goes right up to here, and you can't push it forward, and we have an alarm system. So if you broke in, in 30 seconds, everything will be going up, and you wouldn't even be able to get over it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying. We have that, <laughs> and that makes me feel very, very secure. Yeah. We have we have a similar one that goes over our door, but the rest of our windows, you don't have a lot of windows in here. You just have this. But it's true. the rest of ours, we have grid wall covering all of them, and then there's glass cases in front of them. Yeah. So. Yeah, y'all are good. Yeah, we're pretty good, but sweet. Yeah, more more places should have gates and stuff like that. I'm I'm super proud of the wall. I will say, it looks awesome. It's distinctive for sure. It's cool. They did a great yeah. job. We had designers. I love it. Drew it all up, and I was like, I didn't know how it was gonna look. They were like, it could be this, and then we're gonna front light it and back light it, and that's not my forte. I was just like, trust, man, <laughs> full trust, make it look good, and I think it. I think it pops. So with the black, kind of like the black background and then the, the brick and everything, when are you gonna paint the rest of the store to match? Well, I'm definitely not gonna do the same thing. We thought about almost doing walls differently. Like this wall, Earthbound's my favorite game of all time, like maybe doing like an Earthbound wall. That would be wall, cool. And then doing another wall, rather <laughs> than it just being like one solid thing to kind of break up the space too, but I don't know. That costs a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good right now. It costs more than I like to say out loud. Say it. Say how much it was. Uh, twenty-four less than less than four hundred thousand dollars. Oh, sounds like a good deal. <laughs> less than that. <laughs> you don't need any DS games, do you? I will give you. No, don't be don't be mean. What would you do? If I if if you bought every one of these, you disregard disregard disregard. Phoenix and Ferb, what would you pay me for these each? Just looking at the top layer. Look, seems like it's. Well, yes. JoJo's Fashion Show. Uh, Junior Games. I don't know. What would you get, honestly? If someone brought this to you, and you're like, hey man, I'm trying to clean out. What could you do? If someone brought this in, I would probably tell them I don't want it. But if I had to take it, there's some gems in here, man. I bet. I bet you. Mega Mine. Mega Mine, dude. Pirates. King Kong. Okay, I, there are some rare games like you don't know Jack. Mega Brain. Okay. Okay. You have no interest. All right, whatever. Thirty dollars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right now. Right now they're two ninety nine, and if people start like making a pile, I'm like, cut you deal. <laughs> I'm like, get more, get more. Good. <laughs> There's so many. All right, I'm ready to start buying some stuff. What? Do you have a ladder? No. What is it? I want that one. Uh, the Super Nintendo, the Super Game Boy bundle. Okay. Yes. We will get that down. You want this? Yes. You want to go back here and show me the one that you were. I have the grabber. Yes. I have the grabber. But I can't film and look at my list at the same time. But I okay. think, I think. Mystical Ninja? Uh, yes, that one for sure. Okay. These are just box, by the way. That's fine. I mean, I'm, ass I'm assuming you have the game. If they're for sale. Yeah, some do. Some places don't want to sell them. Oh, I'm a good guy. I, whatever, hey, just despite what the comments say about me and YouTube videos, 
Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess. How about this one? Ooh, I'm gonna guess. I think I... I think, actually, the one you pulled down is the only one I need. Really? Jurassic Park? This one? Chaos? I'm pretty sure I have it. I'll double check. Okay. All right, look. Look, look, look at your list. Time out. Oh, there's some stuff up top. What's up there? Um, Looney Tunes B-Ball. Mario is missing. Looney Tunes B-Ball? Where's that? It's up underneath Metal Combat. Oh, wow. Here, I got a ladder. That's a rare game. <laughs> it is. I think I need the manual for that, but not the box. All right, look at your list. Got. Ooh, <laughs> dang! Ooh, that looks good, bro. Crispy. I think you could get that sticker off. I really think Definitely. You uh, Metal Combat. All right, I'm looking at my list. All right, look. It's got good bones. It's not perfect, but it's got. It's got the manual. It, wow, the box isn't too bad. Maybe it's the same person. They look freaking immaculate. We just looked at the Nosferatu one, but. I think the box is a little too rough. <laughs> this one looks pretty good, though. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for me. I don't know how often you're going to be pulling that one off the shelf and looking at it every day. I know. But I pull every game off the shelf every day. Wow. It takes hours. You have so much time. <laughs> That's why I'm so busy. I have to fit that in every night after work. Sorry, I gotta look at my Super Nintendo boxes. <laughs> oh, it's not just Super Nintendo, it's the oh, whole collection. The whole thing, the whole gamut. I get to bet around two, three. I love, I'm a Bubsy. Bubsy? Why Bubsy is that one man. hiding? No, it's not anymore. You can put it right there. No. It's not anymore. That one should actually just be up front. I am a Bubsy guy, dude. I oh. got Bubsy 2 for Game Boy I love on how. my last trip. Oh, nice. I love how the Bubsy music is the same on every level. <laughs> it's the same soundtrack. If I'm not mistaken. We're behind the counter. You don't need any rare, any rare stuff, dude. No. I bought a, I bought a 3DO for a CDI collection with over 150 different CDI games. It was a misery, misery to get rid of because <laughs> nobody wanted it. That's the kind of stuff that. When we get it in, a few games will sell immediately on the website. Hotel Mario, the Links, the Zeldas. And then the rest sits. And then I end up pulling it and selling it on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good, pretty good selection of Saturn, though. Yeah. More than most stores. Yeah. I mean, we got we got Virtual, virtual Fighter Kids. That's cool. Sonic 3D. All the expensive ones are sold at this point, mostly. Yeah, you got some cool stuff though. Sonic 3D Blast, Clockwork Knight, yep. Panzer Dragoon. We actually have, I think we have three Jaguars right now. How often can you say you have three Atari I think Jaguars? we have three Jaguars. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. We have a box one that we've had for a long time and I think we have two loose ones. There was a week not too long ago where we hadn't seen a 3DO, a Panasonic 3DO in months. And in one week, we got three Panasonic figures from three different people. I, was like, I don't know what that means, but what happens sometimes is we'll get we'll get something in, and we'll post a picture on our Facebook, and then people are like, "Oh, that's expensive," and then yeah. they bring it in. Okay. That happened with Pokemon Box for GameCube. Oh yeah, yeah. We got one in, and someone was like, "Oh, I have that," and then they brought it in. So we got two of them in like a week. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I know you don't have this, and this is definitely something you need for your collection. I don't collect Atari stuff anymore. Okay. <laughs> I got rid of Atari all my Atari. Pack, <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of all the Atari, all of the older stuff, the ColecoVision and television. Yeah. I got rid of Turbo Graphics. Well, that's the Lynx, though. Just for the I got rid of the Lynx. I, got, as, I even got rid of my Genesis. As you probably should. <laughs> There's just too much stuff. I had to. I had to make yeah. room, and I'm out of room again. So, Dreamcast might be the the next thing to go, mm. the full set. Well, I, you you know a good place you could sell it. Your store. I thought you were going to say your store. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Your Dreamcast selection is about three times bigger than ours. Really? Well, we have the good stuff over there. Isn't there, you can wrong, isn't there like a secret with this one? There's a, like there's a, a different, yeah, there's a different cover that I guess, I think it like got recalled or something and they re-released it with a different cover, but. Hopefully that's not the, that's not the it's $20 here. <laughs> If it is, I'll just buy it when I, you know, I'll let you know afterwards. Hey, let's just watch this. Let's just watch this YouTube channel for a little bit. Uh, where's the unsubscribe button? <laughs>
I'm subscribed to my own channel. <laughs> it's good. It's good. So cool. Cody from Pink Gorilla has his live stream going in the in the store like that. Oh yeah. Even when he's like in the store. <laughs> so you just can look up and see yourself. Yeah. It's awesome. I gotta look around some more. Find yeah, yeah. find some other things. Here, I'm gonna make you a uh, I'll make a wool. I get my own here. pile. Get your get your little bot a little pile. Yes. So here's my pile. I didn't have it. It was in my hoard up there. And I was like. <laughs> Can I get it? Rick's hooking me up with Dude, his personal I, stuff. You, you're gonna get the 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 Luchador. <laughs> <laughs> you'll kill my pile. <laughs> Here it is. In my yeah, pile. I mean, you guys have get some. This this was actually in my personal collection, and I brought it over a while ago, and I'm seeing it go away. That makes it even better. Makes it even better. I've had this for like ten years, man. <laughs> I was going for like every variant and at a certain point I was like, okay, this is crazy. But yeah. now you can- I have like 15 Super Nintendos, all different boxes, <laughs> different, all different bundles. All different stickers. Yep. <laughs> Just a sticker. <laughs> you ain't getting my Zelda one. I'll find one. I'll find one somewhere. What's my, what's my, what's my total? What's my damage? Uh, the total was 980. And we said, get these for free, which is not like a ton of value there, a little bit. And empty empty did, box too. We did empty box. We did seven eighty. Thank you. Thank you very much. And to be clear, I did not ask for a discount. <laughs> no, I didn't. I would never. <laughs> he did it. I had to, man. Come on. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Of course. Thank you for appreciate being you hospitable out. and hanging out, taking time out of your busy schedule. Hey, man. It's been fun. Heck yeah. Let me pay for these. So tall. What? And I'm so short. No, don't do that, <laughs> me. Well, uh, Rick's got to head out, so we're probably gonna leave here pretty soon as well. But thank you for having us, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Girl. Super awesome. It's good to yeah. finally meet you, me too. And we've chatted a bit, but you know, it's always more fun in person. Yeah, it's cool. It, bro. Got to hang Crush out with it. you. Got to hang out with the Pixel Game Squad. Guys. Oh yeah, yeah, that was like last week. Yeah. Awesome. Riff, yeah. Ricky's cool. <laughs> Riff sucks. Well, just in case. There's one person watching that doesn't know who you are. <laughs> Where can they find you? Retro Rick on everything. Just look, search it, and I'll I'll be there. Probably Face will be there. <laughs> and then, if you want to physically come to the store, Conway, Arkansas, just outside of Little Rock. Yeah. Heck yeah. Come on. So come visit. Thank you once again. And uh, we'll be back at some point. Please. I you wanna, got, you I gotta come to Portland. Portland. I know. I know. Everyone tell him it to come happen. to PRGE. Spam the comments. And also contact PRGE and tell them that you want Retro Rick. Yes! I never heard from him, man. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, man. Bye.